Thanks for checking out this movie review video. This is for the 2020 Shudder original Lingering, and it's a South Korean film, and it will be hitting Shudder on Thursday, November 12th. So when I'm putting up this review, it is some days ahead of that release on Shudder. So because of that, and because it's just new, uh, no spoilers for this uh, review. Now, that isn't to say that if you've already seen it and you're watching this, that there isn't something you can take out of it. There definitely is. I'm going to talk in the terms of, you know, being vague enough that people who haven't seen it doesn't spoil anything for them, but being specific enough that you'll get it if you have seen the film. So, let's get into this one. Written and directed by Yoon In Kyung. Uh, this is their first film, this ind individual's very first film. And I will say, for a first uh, written and directed film, pretty good. Pretty good. Like, not even any short films or anything like that showing up on IMDb. Um, I'm pretty impressed with that. Uh, solid direct. It's not like the best directing you've ever seen, but it is good directing. It is quite good, especially for the first film. Writing is also quite nice for this film. This is one of the Shutter originals. I would definitely recommend that people make sure they check out at least once. Uh, the story is compelling enough for that, for sure. Uh, so this film was, it's called Lingering, and that title has, has, you know, it fits with the story of the film. But there's an alternate title for this, Hotel Lake. And I actually like that title more for the film because there's a portion of dialogue within the film that actually speaks directly to the title of Hotel Lake, and it has a lot more meaning. So I kind of wish that Shudder would have kept that title instead of changing it to Lingering. Or actually, you know, maybe Shudder didn't change it to Lingering. I don't know whose idea that was, but... I wish it was still Hotel Lake because when you watch the movie, or if you have, you know that there's significance to some dialogue that ties to Hotel Lake, and I liked it. So anyway, quick synopsis without giving much of anything away. So this is basically about a woman who has to take care of her young, much younger sister because her mother is no longer in the picture and she doesn't have a job, you know, she feels conflicted about, you know, taking care of her sister in the first place, because she's a little bit detached from the family, so she doesn't have a job or anything, she needs some more support, so she goes to a hotel that is family-owned to stay there and, yeah, have a little bit of help with this kid, and then things are horror-related, uh, is all I have to say. And I will say this, a lot of the horror seems to be kind of absent from the film very early on. It doesn't, it, it comes in in like bits and pieces, it's a little scarce, but it, it's kind of littered throughout the film until you get towards the very end and then it really pumps up the horror and it finishes horror, which I like. Uh, so up until that point towards the end, I was kind of feeling like, where's all the horror? But I wasn't upset with the film itself because I do like the characters. I think you have some very rich characters. I think you have some great character dynamics and relationships at play here. Um, it's very focused on particularly this family. And there's a lot of familial stuff that comes into play that becomes that become themes of the film. And I think they're really well developed and... Yeah, I just loved watching the characters interact with each other, and there's some, you know, there's some emotional stuff in the film, and then there's some stuff that kind of takes you aback a little bit about the family, where you're just kind of like, man, the way they communicate, like, that was a big thing, is the way they communicate is, like, very uninhibited, very blunt about certain things. Some of the things that are said between characters, I was like, oh, um, okay, I did not see that coming. I would think that would be a inner monologue type thing but you you just said that so okay but it makes for an interesting story it really does and and that's important because like i said there's not a ton of horror notes to it until the very end of the film but it's a good payoff i will say uh it starts with a very quick attention grab now it's one of those things where you just get a little piece and you're like ooh, that's very interesting does come into play much later you you know it's expanded upon thankfully, because you really want to know what's going on with that. Um, you see the tough moral situation that, that the main character ends up getting put in, because like I said during the synopsis, she feels conflicted. She doesn't really want to take care of her younger sister, partially because she's been very intentionally uh, cut, uh, you know, intentionally distant from the family, but also because, you know, she's not ready to handle something like that, including not having a job. So it's just a little 
tough to handle. But you can see that. Like, the character does it really well. And the acting is quite good for this film, I will say. Including the little girl in this film who, uh, cute as a button. And she did a pretty good job for her age, I will say. She... There were certain moments where she reminded me a bit of my my one niece when she was younger. And, you know, that kind of hit me right here. I was like, oh, that's cute. So, um, early on when the main character's driving, just so you know what to look for. When the main character's driving early on, there's a really crazy thing that she ends up seeing that I really liked. That was another kind of, like, quick attention grab. The visual of it was really cool. I enjoy that. So, if you've seen it already, you probably know what I'm talking about. Didn't see it coming. Uh, family dynamics in this fuel a good amount of the actual drama, like I was saying. Uh, and once again, it's crazy some of the things these people say to each other. But that's a great thing where you're just like, what are they going to say to each other now? How are they going to react to each other? It's nice. There's something introduced for a plausible explanation for some of the goings on in the film. Early on, especially. Which you feel could end up being a red herring. Uh, actually, I will say there might be a few things that are introduced that you think, mm, this could be a red herring or this could be legitimate. I'm not going to confirm or deny if they are red herrings or legitimate, but stuff gets thrown out there. I'll just say that much. There's a moment with a good use of darkness for the use of transitioning to a new location for the film. Um, I didn't see that coming. as really interesting where a character's kind of in a dark environment. Well, it's an environment that kind of goes dark and then it comes out of the darkness. And it's a really cool visual way that they kind of move the location of the scene. Uh, quite enjoyed that. The pace is a bit slow, like I said, and the scares are kind of sparse, like I said, but really enjoy the characters, really enjoy the family drama that's really center stage for the film. But like I said, there's a payoff at the end. Stick around for it for the horror stuff. You'll get it. Through the directing, acting, and dialogue, there's a good job done of conveying what characters are feeling and what they're dealing with. You really can feel emotion. You can see where characters are coming from. And you can kind of get in their heads a little bit because of the combination of directing, dialogue, and acting. So uh, those things really came together for this film. Uh, there's some information thrown out kind of late in the film that starts to formulate some doubts about what's really at play in, in this. Uh, once again, one of those things where you're kind of like, is this a red herring? Is this not a red herring? Once again, not going to say if it is or is not. You got to watch the film, and I do recommend it. Well-executed twist in this film. Uh, like I said, there's a good ending. There's a payoff. Well-executed twist. I did not see it coming. I will say that. And th that always makes me feel good. That always kind of grabs my interest even more. It makes me feel even better about a film when I can't guess what's going to end up happening in the end. So nice. Uh, I think the end was drawn out a little bit too much. It was a little bit stretched. I mean, the movie's about an hour and 40 minutes. And like I was saying, you know, in the beginning, I was really enjoying kind of the character interactions and the development of the overall story and the family stuff. So it was fine that it was feeling a little bit slow. But at the end, when you're, you know, try getting your payoff, you don't want it to kind of stretch too much. And it kind of does stretch a little bit too much. But it's still good. It is still good. And I enjoyed it. Uh... Once again, I, I have to reiterate, for a first film, quite nice with the directing. Very nice job. Uh, there's a big focus on family and how tough relationships can be in this, especially when people end up acting in a toxic manner. And then it's also when that toxicity happens within the family, how do members of the family react to that? You know, do they come in closer? Do they try to solve things? Do they go away? You know, what's, how do people react? And it's different. There's also a look at what you want for yourself in life, how your family factors into what you want, and how they can end up hindering what you want, and kind of what choice are you forced to make, or when you weigh your choices, what do you come to? So that's all I have to say about Lingering, which I wish was still called Hotel Lake, just saying. But um, it's a good film. Obviously, like I said, I'll, I'll nail it home. You should definitely watch it at least once. Definitely once. Um, so yeah. I, I do recommend it. Now, out of five stars with half stars of play, where am I going to put this one? I'm going to put it at a very solid three and a half stars. It is nice. It doesn't quite get to the four level, but three and a half stars, As if you've watched enough of my videos, that's a pretty good rating. So, definitely good. 
Uh, once you see the film, go ahead, put comments down here. We can do spoilers in the comments. So know that going forward, if you want to, you know, make a comment, there will be spoilers quite possibly. So let's talk about it. And then uh, do me a quick favor, hit that subscribe button because that's your best way to repay me for doing these videos or any video that you've ever liked on my channel. If you liked, uh, hopefully you liked something. Uh, that's your best way to repay me and I'm extremely grateful for that. I literally get an email every time I get a new subscriber. I look at who it is and I feel very grateful. I, trust me. But anyway, uh, oh, also hit the uh, notification bell if you're going to do that because then you know when I'm putting up new videos or doing live stream, any of that stuff. But I really do appreciate taking the time to uh, check out this video. And until next time, keep it brutal.